we're like big problems. I'm in the middle of doing some stuff, and I and I, and I don't know if I'm doing it right. We got big problems. There's this, there's a problem. Okay, it's a virus, a big scary virus. Okay, so anyway, here's what I've been working on. Okay, maybe you can help me out with this because here's the deal. Here's the virus. It's uh, it comes from uh, we're not quite sure Latin America, Spain. I don't know, but we're calling it like coronavirus. It's the coronavirus, okay? We got the coronavirus, and we're not sure what it does, but it makes people get a temperature. That's what we're sure about. And I got to figure out, like, do do the flight attendants spread this coronavirus? I'm not quite sure. Flight attendants, maybe, maybe they're behind the whole thing. Maybe they're spreading it from country to country. So I don't even know what we got is we got a sample of like, okay, we got like like 25 flight attendants. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the, this is our sample here, right? We just grabbed them. We just grabbed them off airplanes. We're just all like, hey man, there's a coronavirus. You got to come in. You got to figure it out. And we took their temperature. We don't have any other equipment. What are we, a um, doctor's office or hospital? No, we're just some guy in a hat. So we grabbed these people. And we, and we tested them, and we're like, all right, we'll just take your temperature. And the temperature, I mean, it was, it was kind of like all over the place. So, I mean, the temperature was like, like, you know, there were a bunch of temperatures, but it more or less was kind of distributed sort of normally is what I'm talking about. So it was sort of normally distributed, and the mean of their temperature was, um, what was it, like, I think it was 99. We found 99.0. 99. Is there some significance to that? Is it like 99? Like party like it's 1999? I don't know. It's 99. 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of them were like lower, like, you know, down lower numbers, and some of them had higher numbers. Clearly had a fever. 99. Is that a fever? Is 99 a fever? 99 is what I get when I'm just like lying back thinking of Sora, Sophia Loren circa 1960. I don't even know. 99. Is that hot? Isn't the temperature supposed to be 98.6? It's less than a half a degree above, but, is, but it's an average. It's not just one guy, just one lady. It's an average of 25. So N is 25 of these people. It's an average of 25 people's temperature. That seems, I don't even know. Maybe it's high. Maybe it's not high. I can't tell. So, well, well I, I don't even know how I'm going to think through this. Like, I've been working this out. Oh, except there's just a sample, right? It was kind of random. What if we had found a different sample? So let's think about all the flight attendants. So, you know, up in theoretical land, we could think of that, that there's thousands of flight attendants, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds. I don't even know how many flight attendants there are. There's a lot, though. But, like, the whole population of all the flight attendants is a lot of flight attendants. And we only got 25 of them. So, so I don't know. Let's say, let's say these 25, that's our sample, right? But what if there's a different 25 that would have had a different sample? Our sample had a mean of 99. What if there was a sample that had a mean of like uh, 96? I don't know. Maybe there's a sample here that had a mean of, I don't know, uh, 101. I mean, there's all these different samples. They'd have different average temperatures probably. How do we figure this out? I don't even know. So I'm looking at the CDC's website. The CDC's website has like some interesting information there. Okay. So, uh, the CDC's website is telling me what I need to know. We got, the, in the general population, so I'm going to put this over here. Just We'll need it later. Get, like healthy people, the, the mean is, turns out it's not 98.6. There's lots of estimates, but I found a pretty good mean that says the estimate is 98.4. It's pretty close, right? 98.4. That's, that, that's pretty, pretty close. 98.4, and the standard deviation of, of body temperature out there is 0 0.75. Okay, so we got 0 0.75. Like, that's pretty small. There's not much variation. I guess it's because we got to stay alive and stuff. And if our body temperature goes, like, up too much, whoa, down, whoa, bad news. So what do we do? Okay, so what if, okay, I can use this. I can use this, right? I can say maybe my standard deviation Maybe the standard deviation of body temperature among everybody, even if you do, if you are sick, is 0.75. Okay, so I'll use that. Now, what can I do? I could say, um, let's imagine a distribution. Let's imagine all the possible, not all the possible people's temperature, but the temperatures of all these samples here. Like, 
this one goes in there and this one goes in there and this one goes in there all these temperature means it's like what if we had grabbed a different set of 25 what if you had grabbed that 25 or that 25 or that 25 or this one or this one or this one there's millions of them i don't have to know how many there are i don't have to know anything about them because i know this and i know that this distribution is pretty much normally distributed so i know that if I have a distribution of means instead of just temperatures, but means of temperatures, then it's going to be really, really normally distributed compared to this. So it'll be even more. So I can just, I'm going to put that up here. I'm, and I'm going to say, all right, what if the true mean was 99? I don't think it's 99. Nobody thinks the true population mean is 99. We know what the mean is. It's 98.4. But we're saying, what if it was 99? Then maybe this can give us an idea of whether 99 is high or low or kind of high or kind of low. I mean, we can't even tell until we do some stuff. So I'd say, what would this distribution look like? I don't even know. Um, Oh, I know. There's a formula that tells us what the dis what the standard deviation of this normal distribution would be. And for a normal distribution, you only need two things. You need a mean, you need a standard deviation. Two things. Mean, standard deviation. That's all. So we know the mean. The mean is 99, right? And the standard deviation, it's not that. That's the standard deviation of like all the temperatures. But the standard deviation of the means of the temperatures is this thing, the standard error of the mean. And that is equal to the original standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Okay, I got my calculator here. Let me figure this out. So, uh, okay, how do I do this? We're running out of time. People could be dying. I mean, we don't know. As far as we know, the coronavirus only makes people like have a slightly high temperature. But hey, we don't want to take chances because... I'm a guy who has, if you recall, a hat. Anyway, so I'm going to figure this out. The standard deviation is 0.75 divided by the square root of 25. Okay, so this one, standard deviation is a new distribution. It's going to be smaller. It's not going to be 0.75. It's going to be 0 0.15 degrees. So this new distribution is taller and skinnier. Now you're starting to see how I got in trouble that one time for drawing a you-know-what on the board. But it wasn't a you-know-what. It was this. Anyway, so here's, here's the distribution. So down here, I, I could say, all right, standard deviation is 0.75. So I sometimes do that to remind myself how wide the standard deviation here. This is a skinnier standard deviation. You could say the standard deviation of the means here, the SEM, yeah, this, this SEM is 0.15. Okay, now, what if I want, let's say, 95% confidence in, like, this estimate that we have here of 99 degrees. 95% confidence. I want to find, you know, a line here and a line here or something like that. I want to have a plus or minus something, and I want to say... You know, I want to be so so such and such confident that the true population mean might be such and such a thing. Is this the true population mean of flight attendants? I mean, it's not the general public, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about flight attendants. Is it the true temperature of the population of flight attendants who got themselves infected with the coronavirus? Okay, that's what we're trying to figure out. So. What I need to do is like an area problem. Find the middle 95%. So if I find like two things here. Now are you seeing how I got in trouble for drawing this on the board? Yeah, I hope you are at this point. Anyway. But Dr. Croxton got over it. He's pretty cool. Anyway. So you've got... Uh, we need those two numbers right there. Um, what do we do? Well, I could look at my normal table. I can look at my normal distribution table and I can find what z-score has 0.25 of the distribution below it and therefore 0.25 of the distribution above it. What is that z-score? That z is negative 1.96. Therefore, on the other side, it's positive 1.96. That'll give us 0.25 there. No, yeah. No, 0 0.025. What am I talking about? 0 0.025 there, 0 0.025 there. So in the middle will be 0.95. In other words, 95%. So that z-score means we go 1.96 z-scores in this direction, 1.96 z-scores in this direction, and that's going to give us our numbers. So I can work that out. I can say 
How big is each standard deviation? How big is each z of these one z-scores? 0.15. So 0.196 or 1.96, which is almost two of 0.15s, I can make 0.196 times, one point, times 0.15. Or sorry, 1.96 times 0.15. I'm making mistakes here. 1.96 times 0.15. And that's going to give me a certain value. I add that to 99, and that gives me, uh, I think it's 99.2. And then I take 90, 99, which is our mean, and I subtract 1.96 standard error, so 1.96 times 0.15. I subtract that from 99, and I get 98.7. 98 98.7, 99.2. That's what I got, 98.7. 99.2, that's my 95% confidence interval. I am 95% confident that the true population mean of the, the stewardesses and the stewards, the people who fly the planes, no, they just give you the drinks, that their body temperature is between these two numbers. I'm 95% confident that their true body temperature of the population that sample came from, of the whole population, is between these two numbers. Well, what's the normal population Temperature, 98.4, 98. That's down here, 98.4. It's not even 95% plausible that the confidence that the stewardesses and the stewarders, that they all had a, temper, a body temperature of 98.4. The confident interval, 95% confidence, the true population mean is between 98.7 and 99.2. It's not even here. This is not even in there. They have the coronavirus. We, we don't know what that means. They'll probably be fine, but maybe they'll stop breathing or just stop serving drinks.